In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate standard error using several different um, sample sizes. So for all of them, we're going to use a um, mu, so a, or a population average of 70, with a standard deviation of 20. So let's start with n equals 5 first. So my equation for standard error is um, whatever the standard deviation is divided by the square root of n. Okay. So standard deviation um, for all of them then will be 20, right? But, so 20 divided by the square root of, in this case, 5, right, um, gives me a standard error of um, 8.94. And um, that's pretty high actually, right? Um, and, and it's high because of our sample size being so small. And watch what happens when we start pumping up that sample size. So again, standard error is um, standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So 20, in this case though, divided by 18, right? So now our sample size is 4.71. So just by um, increasing that sample size just a little bit, our standard error went down, right? So kind of keep that in the back of your mind. As um, sample size increases, standard error decreases. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so last one, um, 30. And again, with statistics, anytime you start approaching 30, um, think of it like, like a golden number, right? 30 approximates infinity as long as the distribution is pulled from a normally distributed population and you have a good representative sample. Okay, so we have 20. Um, now in this case, divided by the square root of 30. Now watch what happens to our standard error. See how much smaller it's getting? So 3.65. Um, so, again, as the um, sample size increases, the um, um, standard error decreases, and that's just, um, that's just awesome. So, anytime that you're worried about um, your, your, sam your sample size or um, your study or you think, I just need to make this more um, you know, valid or legitimate, if you will, um, pump up the sample size. Get more people in there. 